afternoon slash evening, everybody. Can you hear me, Alan? I can. Oh, good. We're going to wait for a few more people to join. Yep. They have bounced. I'm out of daughter's horse riding lesson, so I don't know if I disappear suddenly because I had to. But well, I couldn't resist the urge to do this in front of this glorious tree. <laughs> Look at this tree behind me. Beautiful. It looks like it's growing out of your head. <laughs> While you wait for people, I'll ask you for some free tree advice. Ready? Ready. Have a I planted a rift birch in my yard 15 years ago. Beautiful, grew fast, seemed healthy. Had three, you know, like river birches do, it had three runners. The center one, in a recent storm, something happened to it and I had to cut it. So now I've got two that are like this. Should I, okay, they're, they're not, they're, it's a big tree, but it's not a huge tree. Should I cape them? Should I just let them? It just seems like they're just. <laughs> Like a big bee that's just going to split again at some point. Mm. It's a hard thing to diagnose from a distance, I know. Yeah, I mean, um, you have um, multiple stems coming from the ground, essentially, is what you're telling me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, you could definitely put a cable in it. You could, um, if one is more dominant than the other one and more upright, you could try to... Yeah. You know, remove one stem and grow a single stem tree. Um, it's a river birch. And yep. if it's healthy, it's going to yep. continue to grow. It'll put out a lot of suckers and grow new, new, um, you know, a new stem right from where you cut the other one out. So. Thank you. Now you're kind of broken up. You're a little choppy. So just to. People may not get every yeah. other may get every other word. I'll go on mute. I think Henry was going to join us. So I think Henry and Julian are now panelists. Henry, can you hear me? Your Hi, sorry, my uh, sorry, your my video won't work. Um, Hi, I'm calling you. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I cannot. There's no links to um, show my video or anything like that. That's odd. I don't know how to do it. So I can hear, and I guess you can hear me now. So. Yeah. But this is a different uh, Zoom than I've ever encountered. I'll join as panelists. Let me level. Yeah, yeah, you need to be a panelist, I think. Ah, start. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like we have a quorum. But uh, is this the your hearing or our meeting? This is my hearing. I'm going to open the tree hearing shortly, and then we're going to break, and you're going to open your tree committee meeting um, and have your discussion and vote, and then close your meeting, and we'll open the tree hearing back up again. That'll all be on this link. Yes. Okay. So I think we got everybody, right? Sarah and Britt, I don't know. But we can start. Okay. Let me just check one more time here. And welcome, Ellen. Helen, I mean. Glad you could join us. You're muted if you want to say anything. I I see that. I unmuted. I just want to make sure that uh, Rich from Alpine Drive is okay with the connection. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, so um, let's get this going. And if you see Shoshona, she should close her curtain behind her so this, the light is not behind her. I'm going to open the tree hearing now. It's um, it is August 13th, a little after 4.30, in accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 87, Section 3, Shade Trees, the tree warden will hold a public, share, public hearing on August 13th, 2024 at 4.30 p.m. in a virtual Zoom hearing, ID number 8459490 for the purpose of removal of the following public shade trees. Tree removal for the proposed roundabouts on Heatherstone, intersections with Alpine and Echo Hill. Trees impacted by this project, indicated by diameter at breast height, which is four and a half feet off the ground. Um, a 22 inch white pine, five inch catalpa, and a six inch Norway maple. Um, so we um, I had a site visit with the Public Shade Tree Committee um, a week ago, two weeks ago, um, to review this. My understanding is that um, from the engineering department that the roundabouts are moving forward. Um, the white pine, uh, technically wouldn't need to be removed. It's not actually in the road uh, as part of the roundabout project, but it's so close to the road, it's gonna be within two feet that um, there'll be a significant disturbance in the root zone and um, probably a little too comfortable having a tree that close to the road that would probably die uh, in a number of years to come. Uh, the nori maple and catalpa actually fall within um, we're right on the edge of the roundabout um, at um, this Alpine Drive. Um, so uh, let's see. What I'm going to do now then is I'm going to close the hearing, we'll open it up to the Public Safety Committee to have their discussion and to make your vote. Um, and then we'll open it back up to the Public Safety hearing. So. I'm going to close the tree hearing temporarily at 439. Henry, do you want to open the public shade tree meeting? We will open the public shade tree hearing uh, meeting at 439. Bennett, will you take notes? I'm so sorry. I'm doing this remotely, not near a laptop. Um, okay. I can't take Ellen? the notes. I apologize. Ellen, can you do it? Sure, just give me a sec. Yeah. All right. Um, is there some discussion or do we want to start with a motion? Any discussion? Helen, do you have something to say or 
you do all yeah, you said other people here. You say, this tree ha this neighborhood i don't i don't really approve of the roundabouts but i don't have any input on that but if the roundabouts are going in and they remove these trees there are many other trees just adjacent to any of the trees that are being removed so I don't see any reason why it would be a problem to remove the trees in question. Okay, thank you. And there's a Joe H here. Would you like to speak? No? And I think that's all uh, guests. Um, okay, so I then- see, uh, Richard Rich McClellan from McLean. I don't see him in my list of, oh, it's an attendee. Hold on. He's there. Ah, Rich McLean. Yeah, sorry. Would you like to I, say thank you? Yeah, I'm a resident of Alpine Drive. I support both the uh, roundabout project and the removal of these trees to support that project. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So shade tree members, anything, any comments or do we want to go right to a motion? I don't see... Um... Any reason to oppose at this time with these particular trees? I feel like um, it'd be better to uh, fight another day on another on another issue. Okay. Do you want to make a proposal? Um, well, if anyone else wants to speak first, um, I would say speak, and then if not, I propose that we. I don't know how to like not interfere or not oppose this. <laughs> I, or I guess I move that our action is that we take no action on trying to um, interfere with the tree removal. Other comments? Um, I agree with our um, guests um, and Shoshana as well. I didn't see um, a significant issue with the proposed tree removal. There's, It's a very heavily wooded area, and I assume the rest of the woods will be protected. All right, I'd like to amend your wording to say we accept uh, the decision of Alan on this and we won't take a stand. Is that good? That's me. Hmm? I second that, okay. that as written by you. Okay. All in favor? Okay. For in favor, any opposed or abstentions? I abstain. Okay. I just wasn't there for the visit. Yeah. All right. So we agreed to um, accept. Uh, Alan's decision whether to remove the tree or not and not to oppose this in any way. I'll close the shade tree meeting at 4.43. Right, I will open the tree hearing back up at 4.44. Um, is there any other public comment regarding the removal of the trees? No, and I'm going to leave because the rest of the meeting doesn't concern the year, the trees across the street from my house. Thank okay. you. Thank you. So I don't see any questions. Nick. I see Shoshana waving. I was I was waving goodbye to Helen saying, I uh, see you at the picnic perhaps. <laughs> no, I'm not a member of the um, Echo Hill Association. I'm grandfather. I've lived here since 1965. And I'm 90 years old, so, you know, <laughs> okay. Shoshana is talking about the Shade Tree Committee picnic, which happens oh, at 530 no, at Hendrick um, Park. I'm not going to that either. Thank you, <laughs> okay. yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yeah. All right. So then uh, without any objections, um, either before or during the tree hearing regarding the removal of these trees, I will approve the removal of these trees for the roundabout projects on Heatherstone. Um, and we'll um, close the tree hearing at this point. Okay. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You
Yeah. Yep. See you all in 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.